Demophon, the ancient king of Athens, was a hero and a great warrior who fought valiantly in the Trojan War. He was the son of Theseus and Phaedra, and his fame was spread far and wide among the people. However, things took a turn for the worse for Demophon when his father was ousted from power, and he was forced to flee Athens in exile. Despite the setbacks, Demophon did not lose his fighting spirit, and he eventually joined the Greek army in the Trojan War. During the war, he played a crucial role by hiding within the famous Trojan horse and helping the Greeks to achieve victory. Once the war was over, Demophon set out on his way back home. On his way back home, Demophon landed in Thrace, where he met and fell in love with a beautiful princess named Phyllis. The two of them were married, and Demophon promised to return to her soon. However, as fate would have it, Demophon was unable to keep his promise and did not return to Thrace. Overcome with despair and heartbreak, Phyllis eventually committed suicide. Despite the tragedy, Demophon continued his journey and eventually arrived in Athens. He was welcomed as a hero and was soon crowned as the king, following Menestheus in 1183 BC. As king, Demophon proved to be a wise and just ruler, providing shelter and land for the Heraclidae and even succeeding in rescuing the Palladium. During his reign, the court of the Ephati was established, and Demophon also played host to Orestes, who was suffering from a period of madness. Demophon passed away in Athens in 1150 B.C., and his son Oxens succeeded him as the king of Athens. In the end, Demophon's legacy lived on as a great warrior and a just ruler who left a lasting impact on the history of Athens and the world. While his love for Phyllis ended in tragedy, he will always be remembered as a hero and a symbol of courage and strength for generations to come. Demophon, the son of Theseus and Phaedra, was born during his father's reign in Athens. He grew up with his siblings including Hippolytus, Melanippus, and Acamas. However, after Theseus lost his throne to Menestheus and was exiled, Demophon and Acamas were also banished to Euboea. Under the care of Elephenor, they grew up in exile on the island. Meanwhile, their mother, Phaedra, tragically committed suicide after falsely accusing Hippolytus of rape. Despite these hardships, Demophon and his brother Akamas persevered and learned valuable life skills on Euboea. When Theseus was murdered on Cyrus by Lycomedes, Demophon and Akamas were intent on avenging their father's death. They eventually succeeded, and with the help of the Athenians, regained control of Athens and restored the throne to their family. Demophon's determination and bravery during this tumultuous time made him a legendary figure in Greek mythology, celebrated for his loyalty and strength. Demophon was a brave warrior who fought alongside King Agamemnon and the Achaeans during the Trojan War, but surprisingly, he was not mentioned in Homer's epic poems. Despite this, he played a significant role in the war and was part of the group that carried out the Trojan horse strategy to infiltrate Troy. After the war, Demophon and his friend Akamas returned to Athens only to discover that their grandmother Aethra, who was once a handmaid of Helen, had been captured by the Dioscuri many years ago when Theseus was still alive. Determined to free their grandmother, Demophon and Akamas embarked on a perilous journey to rescue her. With their incredible strength and bravery, Demophon and Akamas defeated the guards and freed Aethra from captivity. They brought her back to her home, where she was overjoyed to see her grandsons once again. However, as time passed, Aethra learned of Theseus' death and eventually took her own life out of despair. Despite the tragic ending, Demophon and Akama's courage and determination to rescue their grandmother were a testament to their loyalty and love for their family. They continued to be remembered as heroes in Greek mythology and their story remained a beloved tale for generations to come. Demophon, a great hero from the Trojan War, fell deeply in love with the beautiful Phyllis, daughter of a Thracian king. They had a whirlwind romance before they tied the knot and were soon married. Demophon promised to take her with him back to Athens, but circumstances beyond his control cut their joyous union short. The time came for Demophon to leave, and Phyllis presented him with a casket, 
instructing him not to open it until he had lost all hope of returning to Thrace. But alas, Demophon never returned to get her. As days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, Phyllis waited by the seashore every day, yearning for her beloved to return. But he never did. Phyllis felt her heart breaking, and the sadness inside her was too much to bear. In her grief, she either died a slow death caused by the despair that consumed her or committed suicide. According to some versions of the tale, Demophon eventually returned to Thrace. But when he opened the casket out of curiosity, he saw something so terrible that he rode his horse madly and fell off, impaled by his own sword. In contrast, another variation of the story suggests that Demophon was indeed able to return to Thrace, but it was too late. Phyllis had already passed on by the time he arrived. Despite this, he went to the spot where she used to wait for him, embraced the tree nearest to it, and it suddenly began to blossom. Interestingly, Lucian spun similar stories about Demophon's brother Akamas, being the protagonist instead. However, Setz has verified the essence of the story. Most known Akamas for his dalliance with Laodice, Priam's daughter, but Plutarch suggested that it was Demophon who loved Laodice and fathered Munitus. Poor Munitus, who was raised by Aethra, later died from a snakebite while hunting in Thrace. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.